Hello students, uh, this is the third program from our CJP lab. This is write a Java program to define a class, define instance methods and overload them, use them for dynamic method invocation. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to write a Java program which has a class which has some instance methods. We're going to overload them. Obviously, when the term overloading comes, uh, the methods will be of the same name, whichever name you take. And then we are going to use them for dynamic method invocation. Dynamic method invocation is choosing the right method at the runtime. Okay. So this is one of the features of Java. So let's see how the program is. I have this program in my Eclipse. So this is a program that we are going to be using for the lab session. It has two classes, class overload and class overload main. In class overload main, we're going to have one main method. Now what this is going to do is very simple. Declare an object obj. It's going to call the method area several different times with the concept for method overloading. So how is method overloading being done here? Depending on the type of parameters, the method is going to be matched. So here I'm passing 10 and 20, two integer parameters. So let's search for area which has two integer parameters. So this one is matching to it. So this one will be called. Next, we have 10.5 and 20.5, two floating point or double variables. Let us search for that type of area that uh, area which has these parameters in double type this is the one and this will, will be called next we have one more thing called area with one parameter 20 so we it won't pick this up because it has two integers it won't pick this up because this has two double what about this one yes this matches it because it has one integer parameter Okay, it prints the value. The next last one we have is one parameter with one double variable and it's going to print this up. So depending on the type of parameters that we have passed, the area will area method accordingly will be taken and overloaded. So overloading is simply the concept where the methods will be of the same name and same type, written type, but they will have different parameters. Okay, this is the thing. Also, we could have it for different signature type also. That is not been addressed here. It's a very simple program. Let's see how the output will be. So first we should have rectangle, then triangle, square and circle. That is how we have it. Rectangle, triangle, square, and circle. So the formulas are printed inside and it's going to print it. This is a very simple program for method overloading. Thank you.